I'm Vaughn Badania, the author of Astrid and Apollo, which is a chapter book series coming from Capstone on August 1st. Astrid and Apollo stars eight-year-old twins, Astrid and Apollo Lee, who are second-generation Hmong Americans living in Minnesota. This series follows along as the twins enjoy everyday adventures like camping, fishing, attending the Hmong July Soccer Festival, and the Hmong New Year celebration. I wrote the series because I want Hmong children to see themselves represented in books, and I wanted to make sure the representation was positive, accurate, and authentic. To be honest, I haven't quite seen myself in a book. I've seen bits and pieces of my personality in some characters, or similar experiences from my life in different books I've read throughout the years. But I haven't seen an accurate, authentic, or relatable portrayal of a Hmong person, a Hmong refugee from Laos, or a first-generation Hmong American. So my favorite Hmong folktale that was told to me when I was a little kid was something that my older siblings liked to tell me a lot. So this isn't a happy story, this is actually horror, and it's not really kid-friendly, so I don't even know why I was being told it. But anyway, even though I don't like horror stories, this is actually one of my favorite home folk tales. So this is the one about the guy who had to leave his village to go to the city to go to school because he was so incredibly smart. So he leaves behind his beautiful girlfriend who was madly in love with him and who becomes completely heartbroken after he goes to the city because she misses him so much. So she, she becomes very sick and then she dies. This is kind of a common theme in a lot of home stories. A person gets really sick to the point of death. So um, it's really scary, really creepy, but it is one of my most favorite stories. The best writing advice I've ever received wasn't something that was said directly to me, but it was something that I saw online a few years ago. And this was a drawing done by Debbie Ridpath Ohi, who's a Canadian-based author-illustrator. The drawing was of a little girl writing on a pencil, and underneath that were the words, What you write might change the world. Whenever I'm feeling unmotivated or discouraged by my writing, I'll remember that, and I'll feel inspired. 